This is literally the first time in six years I have ever had to record a video more than once and I do not like it. Um, happy summer. Happy summer to all of you. I do indeed hope that um, the blessings and opportunities are continuing to flow in your direction. I would be lying to say that, um, you know, that this summer has been the best, but I am definitely trying to find the comfort in my uncomfortableness, if that makes any sense to you, you know? I am trying to find the comfort in my uncomfortableness, just kind of, you know, all I have right now, ladies and gentlemen, all I have are my talents, my dreams, and my faith. You know what I mean? Um, and just being blessed with this, an extremely, extremely supportive family. All of you, of course, and friends, just rallying around me, because so many people believe in me and believe in my ability to soar, you know? So I am, I am pushing, I am pushing, and even on days where, you know, I sort of um, wake up and I feel like I'm in the dark, and it's like my spirits are really low, you know, I may have a very slow day, but I always wake up the next and I say to myself, literally, while I'm in the bathroom or getting ready, I always say, today is not going to be a repeat of yesterday. And that sort of always helps me release those negative toxins and really tap into, you know, the gifts and the energy and the passion that God has instilled in me. So, you know, um, I did receive a lot of your messages online, your Facebook messages and emails and tweets and things. Many of you were concerned about me as I was silent for about a week, a week and a half, but um, always know that when I'm quiet, I'm creating, you know? I'm not gonna be in bed depressed listening to sad music. Um, when I'm quiet, usually I'm creating after sort of that first slump day, but. Uh, two weeks ago, I, it was a Sunday, uh, two weeks ago I was at a day party in Washington DC at this spot called Park at 14th and while I was there I really, um, it was my first time attending because the event is like a summer event that just kind of started up um, and I had a drink and it was a lot of people and it was hot um, but a nice venue. Um, I talk about it in great detail in an article I just posted at zimsays.com. I want you guys to go and read it. Um, it's the same title of this video, Mean Boys, Five to a Table, but you can't sit with us. Uh, check it out, read it. Um, it's, it's a lot more descriptive uh, about, you know, what I experienced, what I saw, real life Mean Boys. Um, and it really, after I wrote it, I felt like it wasn't enough. So during my quiet time where I was really into myself last week, uh, I wrote this piece that I'm getting ready to present to you. Um, don't make me laugh because I'm only going to do this in one take. <sighs> Leave comments in the comment section letting me know what you think when I'm done. This is an original piece written by me, Zim Van Adams. Two, one. Mean boys, five to a table, and you can't sit with us. We are too attractive to speak first, consumed by our ill-created selves, complacent in the short shelf lives of our faux legacies, everything to show but nothing to tell. Dilapidated delusions of grandeur, for we, we are better than you. Intertwined like old furls of a chain link fence, arrogant, catty, and rude. We are the mean boys, the A-listers, obsessed with being fashionable and fab. You are nothing more than a relative unknown. No muscles, no coins, no swag. College degrees led to our 
suit and tie jobs with benefits and paid vacations, a White House internship and personal checks for my fathers, secured our fraternity affiliations. You will never have it as good as we do. Watch as we reach heights you've never dreamed of. Erase your Baroque fantasies of success and superstardom as we snatch them with our selfish stained gloves. We are the mean boys, the chosen few, without a speck of sentimentality, trading friendship for adoration, family for public acceptance, caught in our own tangled reality. 10,000 Instagram followers each <laughs> from every major city we could mention and all we had to do was pose half naked under the spotlight to get you to vie for our attention. But you and your friends, you, you are of the dark complexion. How do you expect to compete in our world like that? We already stand several steps ahead of you as, you know, we're light, mocha colored, and only half black. But you're right, race is still an issue that you everyday people are fighting to change. But we'd rather focus on crossing those upper class lines and winning the social status game. We breathe an air of superiority, inhaling public praise for validation, reminding you that you'll never be good enough by comparison, brought up in every conversation. We are the mean boys, true to form, escaping wounds of adolescence still unraveled, forgetting our pasts have a way of reeling us back in no matter how far we've traveled. But I don't care. Stand in the corner and face the wall. Cry, exhale if you must. But the table is set with only room for five. And you, you still can't sit with us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I created that piece just sort of as um, a creative way of expressing how I felt sitting at Park at 14th and watching a lot of mean boys in action and, you know, especially for me being in the position I am in and having the privilege of reading a lot of the stories and experiences that you all send to me through messages and watching people on social media just it puts me in a space where it's like I have a voice to comment about this and and I certainly could not stand and 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 not bring attention to it so Share this work along with my article at ZimSays.com with anyone who, you know, you know, needs to hear it. I hope that you got the message. I do encourage many of you to continue fighting, continue pushing towards your dreams and understand this. It's one thing to pray. It's one thing to pray and ask God to bless you with this opportunity and, you know, uh, a chance to do A doing this doing that but prayer without action doesn't equal movement whatever it is that you want in life you pray about it but you also have to physically be doing things taking action making steps forward to reach your ultimate goals and your dreams God knows what he's given you the gifts the talents the passion the energy and if you aren't utilizing those things to reach your goals. He's not going to open that door, that window of opportunity for you, regardless of your prayers. You have to move. You have to move. And that's what I push myself to do. Move, create, write,
film, <laughs> you know, speak. This is what he's given me. These are my talents. And, and if I don't tap into him, how can I expect him to move me to the next level? You know, so I love you guys. And I don't say that in a very pacifying uh, way either. I love you guys. We've been together for six years. And the messages you all send me keep me so encouraged and so wrapped up and so comfortable in my most uncomfortable moments. Enjoy your summer. I'm not quite sure if I'll be back here on camera before the end of it, but you know, you guys follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and um, so you're always tapped into me as I am tapped into you. Leave comments, tell me what you thought of the poem. Um, I am Zim Van Adams, conquering the world, one word at a time.